Hello friends, I'm Chi. Yeah, you like to know if you can bring your stepdad, stepmom, okay? Yes, it's very possible. But first of all, subscribe, follow me, man. Follow Chi, like and share. All right. So now it's very possible. All you need is their marriage certificate, right? You need their marriage certificate, their birth certificate. With these two things, you are good to go. And if you have photo proofs when you are with them, photos you took with them, it will also help in case there will be an investigation or interview. So those photo proofs when you are with them will speak a lot. And um, if they have photo of their marriage, when they married, it's also okay. Now you say they don't have marriage certificate. Yes, which most of you from Africa, Asia, most of your parents don't have. You know, they just married by, you know, paying dowry, the um what they call it bride price you know so what do you do um in this case they have to go to the court and do swear an affidavit stating that they are married you know let's say they had the certificate but it, it was in the past it is lost and they are old or they don't know how to get it anymore they can't go to that city or country where they did it they can just do the affidavit thing bring witnesses to sign from the man's side, from the woman's side, they bring witnesses, friends and family from both sides will come and sign, testifying that yes, it's true, we know them, they are married. Lawyers sign, everything documented and registered, okay? So their birth certificate, the same thing. They can do it in their, I don't know how you do it in your country, but in Nigeria, they do it in the local government. That one, they call it national population uh, birth certificate. National Population Census Birth Certificate, the international one for people who want to travel abroad. Okay, so I don't know, you can state that to your country people where you do your birth certificate as well. I don't know if you guys do it in court as well or in your local government, you know. You can tell them the one for people that want to travel abroad, okay, so that they will know what to give to you. Tell them the one for people that want to travel abroad, that birth certificate, the international one that people use is when they want to travel abroad. So that one will be issued to your step mother or father or parents so that marriage certificate will help a lot but if you think that you can just tell them okay you guys should go and get married in court maybe you don't like the affidavit thing maybe let me you know you don't like it you can just tell them to go to court and get married bringing all their family members as witnesses that would sign so they can just quickly hurry up get married in court but what if one is only surviving the other one is late then the one that is surviving can still go to court and do the affidavit swearing that yeah I was married to this person, I am the stepmom or stepdad to this person that is bringing me, you know. So everything well documented. So a lawyer can help you on that. An agent who is helping you processing it can also give proper direction how they should draft it, how they should write it. So the agent and the lawyer have to collaborate a lot. Because the agent have done it for a lot of people. So when they are doing the affidavit, they have to write it well. Okay, so the rest is history. The person gets the best certificate, and voila, you bring the null star, and it is done. They get it. Agent help them to document every other thing. They have to authenticate it, translate it to Italian, and legalize. Your stepmother is here, your stepdaddy is here, or both of them, or one of them, which they might be of need or helpful to you here when they come because they'll be helping you take care of your children. You know, when they are back from school, give them food, maybe bring them back from school. If the people you are bringing are healthy, that's if your stepmom, stepdad is still healthy, they can help you do these things. Or if maybe you're even bringing your parents, your mother or your father, they are still healthy, 66, 65, 67, they can walk, no health condition much, you know. They can help you do the school run, stay with your kids at home, you know, accompany them when they want to go and buy something. At least giving you time to focus in your job, in your work. So they can help you even do babysitting if you have new babies. You know? So that's why bringing your parents or step-parents will help a lot. For your parents, I've told you, the same thing, marriage certificate. If they don't have, tell them to go and get married in court, sharp, sharp, or in your local government. They should just go there and get married, get the certificate, get witnesses, take photo when they are doing the ceremony. You know? Or... So an affidavit that both of them are married, bring witnesses from each side, family and friends, they sign, get their birth certificates. With the help of the agent, the agent should tell them how, which of this, how they should do the son name in the birth certificate. 
they will decide it. So talk to your agent about that. The one that is helping you to process it back home. Discuss it so that they will give you better information how it should be. Which surname should be there? Should they maintain the same surname or maintain their separate surnames? Okay, so that is it. Um, so whatever you are having in your birth certificate has to be what should also, in their birth certificate has to also be what will appear in their international passport. Don't make mistakes about that. Okay, the same name in their birth certificate has to be the same name in their international passport and has to be the same in their marriage certificate and also in their affidavits that they are going to swear. So if they have photo proofs when you were with them, photos you took with your mother, your daddy, they should also have it just in case there will be an interview. Mm -hmm. Very important. So that's it. I'm out. Bring your parents here so that they will enjoy and you take care of them medically wise, you know. You take them, do proper checkups, you know, treatment will be just for free for them because they're over 65 years. You know, that's when you have to bring them. All right. I'm out, man. I'm Chi. Ciao.